Hey everyone, it's me Tim and today I'm going to talk about my top case setup. I've been getting a lot of questions about where I got it or how I put it together. It's actually a pretty easy project that you can do at home if you have a drill and some nuts and bolts and a little bit of silicone. I'm going to get into the whole thing, the whole setup, how I did it and what I keep inside of it right after this. So like I said, I'm going to be talking about my top case setup. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. Some of you guys may have noticed this in my videos. Uh, it's a pretty easy setup, but it was not designed to be put on a motorcycle. So the first thing you're going to need is a mounting plate. This one I got from Altrider. Uh, I can't really show you it because this is already mounted to it. Essentially it just mounts to the top of the back of the bike, and then there's a bunch of holes in it. Then you can just buy one of these at Harbor Freight. I'll actually leave a link in the description box down below to this exact one. Uh, there's a few different sizes. This one works pretty good for the GS. Uh, you can go one size up. Anything bigger than that, it gets a little bit too much because it starts getting wider uh, and, and slightly taller. Uh, I just grab a couple of padlocks, just cheap padlocks to lock on here. Then I just have this one gallon fuel roto packs mount, which I also got from Altrider. Uh, it actually locks to the top of this so I can carry an extra gallon of fuel in here. And basically you can see there's just bolts underneath here with washers and lock nuts on top. And then I just put a little bit of silicone around the washer on the inside to keep it from leaking. And the same thing with the mounting points on the top. So essentially this is just a Pelican case knockoff, but it, it's only about $40, which is cheaper than the Pelican case version would be. I have found it is completely waterproof. I don't have any leaks in this even through where I, I put these bolts right here. Uh, the reason I really like this and having a top case that can lock is because I'm currently using soft luggage which the security on that isn't great and also I go off-road a lot and I drop my bike. So I don't want to carry my camera where I'm potentially going to drop the bike uh, and it's just stored in a soft case where it wouldn't really be protected. Uh, so that's basically what I keep in here is my camera stuff, my drone, and then right here, uh, it's just a short trip so I didn't bring my laptop with me. Uh, but my 15 inch MacBook Pro actually fits perfectly in here in a little neoprene sleeve and everything is just tight and snug uh, and fits perfectly in here. So this case actually came with some styrofoam uh, and they're little like cubes that you can cut to shape uh, whatever you're placing in here. I found that it doesn't really work very well and the cubes kind of start falling apart after a while so I scrapped that and decided to just find some little uh, containers that I could keep everything snug in. I do leave the bottom piece of foam in because there's some bolts at the bottom that I don't want poking everything. Uh, these I picked up at Target. They're just little lunch coolers but they fit my camera and drone and everything perfectly. Uh, so one other cool thing I was able to do with this setup was I actually put a ram mount right on this uh, jerry can and I'm able to put my GoPro on there and get some kind of cool angles either pointing back or pointing forward uh, just to kind of change things up. Uh, honestly, even if you don't film your trips, you're not carrying a drone and a laptop and a camera, uh, it still comes in really handy to have a top case because this is the easiest thing for me to access second only maybe to my tank bag. Um, to be able to just pop this open and get whatever I need out of here, whether it's a first aid kit, snacks, drinks, whatever, uh, it just keeps everything nice and secure. And if you are using soft luggage and you want to keep you know, your paperwork safe, uh, your registration, insurance, things like that, uh, you can keep it in here and it's locked. And at least it's a pretty good deterrent for theft. Uh, pretty much nothing is 100% guaranteed that someone can't open it. Uh, but this is definitely going to slow people down uh, compared to soft luggage and some other options too. The fuel can is definitely optional. I like it because I couldn't really figure out anywhere else to mount it. And like I said, I do go off road and I get pretty far off the beaten track. So this definitely does come in handy for me. Um, I like that when I drop the bike, everything is safe. I don't have to worry about what's in here. Uh, as you saw, even some of the camera stuff is in its own neoprene bags just to keep everything safe from the vibration and possibly dropping the bike. Uh, it's a really easy setup. Anybody can do it. You just drill through. Uh, mark everything out and drill through it. Throw some bolts on there with some fender washers and a little bit of silicone to keep everything from leaking. Uh, one last note, if you are going to use a Roto Packs uh, mount on top of your top case, 
You do want to make sure you put some sticky uh, styrofoam right here. Uh, it's one-sided sticky, so it sticks to the top of this. Uh, that kind of cushions the, the fuel can from jiggling too much, which could potentially uh, loosen this mounting. So the other thing too is you don't want to go too tight on the bolts because this will warp. Uh, but I've had this thing on here for a good 10,000 miles so far. And like I said, it's still waterproof and I haven't had any issues with it. It's very durable. Uh, not that it's really put to, through that much abuse anyway. So that is it. That's my top case setup and what I keep in there, how it's kind of all put together and all of that. Uh, so I hope that answers all of your questions about that. Uh, if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I will leave details in the description box, uh, all the size bolts and everything that you need. Uh, so you can go ahead and check on that if you are going to try installing one of these yourself. Uh, it's a really great setup and it's really cheap. I think the whole, uh, at least this part, cost me about 40 bucks. It's really not an expensive setup. Uh, if you skip the jerry can, it's probably going to cost you about 50 bucks in silicone bolts and the case. So not a bad deal. Anyways, that is it for me today. I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.